Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Outpath. Today, we've got to, we got to learn some things here. So, I've seen some comments, and some comments are kind of confusing to me because I don't have all these machines, and so much of the game has changed that I'm not understanding 100% what's going on here. So, we're gonna get we're gonna get some things unlocked. We're gonna do some testing. We're gonna do some experimentations, and uh, have a good time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. So, what do I mean by that? Well. We need to look at like the supplier. We need to look at the collector V2, the auto feeder. Like we need to look at all this stuff. So um, we need to we need to kind of figure out how this stuff works because I think what is happening is I'm not understanding exactly how these things work. So um, I want to start off with the supplier. So let's go ahead and research that bad boy. Um, let's actually just get this thing going right now because I want to see what this thing does. What is it capable of doing? Uh, so let's see if we go into our build mode and let's get into this actually hold on. You know what before we do absolutely anything We got to make sure that uh, I hope each and every one of you is having an absolutely fantastic day Thank you so much for being here for hanging out with me for choosing the video I really do appreciate it and I hope that you have a wonderful day I really do anyways if you guys want to you can leave a like subscribe if you haven't already if not that's okay uh, Okay, so let's get into this so production machinery is logistics. Okay, so logistics it gathers items from other collectors, vacuums, and chests specified by filters can hold up to three types of items. I don't know exactly what that would be useful for. I kind of do. So like if something requires, okay, so like, um, let's say I have bread set to infinite. It needs coal and flour. So that means I put the supplier on coal and flour and then that would work. And then also apparently we can set I would let's just let's just build the things and figure this out. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's get some magic bones in here How many can I make? Uh, let's just go ahead and make like nine Magic or magic bone magic sticks. I'm sorry. It's not a bone. It's a stick. It could be a tree bone Is a stick a tree bone or is a stick a baby tree? I don't know the questions in life that will never be answered. All right so supplier, it gathers items from other collectors, vacuums, and chests specified by filters can hold up to three. <sighs> okay, so that means within the area. So this is what I'm trying to figure out here is, okay, so can collect items. Okay, so if I place, okay, so like, hold on. If I place that there, what the heck happens here? Okay, open supplier, auto fill on. So I would select what I want it to take. So basically, okay, so that would do that. So, okay, then what does, what, okay, so a collector V2, it gathers items from the floor specified by filters, can hold up to nine types of items. Vacuum, collects all items dropped nearby from the floor, can hold up to nine types of items, can be electrified. See, okay, so what is the, like, this one can be electrified? I don't understand what the difference is, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to figure out, okay, so we have an auto feeder, which feed, will feed me, right? And then we have this thing, um, maybe I need to get into stuff over here, I'm just not understanding, cultured offerings introduce a creature it will drop its loot and bones from time to time supplier it gathers items from various collectors vacuums chests specified by filters can hold up the three type two three types of items hmm what is this thing that's a carpentry workbench don't we have a new advanced workbench what is this that's the imbuing table so we have the carpenter workbench. We've got the design table. We've got a advanced research table. Did we get the advanced research table built? No. Why did we not get that built? Blackbone, paper, and wood. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, is that why we were making blackbone maybe? Maybe that's why we were making blackbone. Okay, hold on a second. That might have been why there was blackbone on the deal. Uh, so we need 13 black bone, 36 paper, and 675 wood. Oh my goodness. Uh, black bone. Can I make any more of those? No, I need more bone. Okay. And then paper. I needed 36 paper. What do we currently have in the paper department? Do I have zero papers? I might have, might have, I might have zero papers. Is it dark again? Why do I feel like the day goes by so fast? Okay, so I think we need 36 paper. So let's do this. Let's, what's max here? Oh, 15. Oh, that's fantastic. I need more flowers. I need more flowers. I need more flowers and wood. Okay. Okay, so I'm sitting here. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure things out. Um, I think what I need to do is I need to unlock some things. I need to unlock more things here. So the vacuum, 
Collects all items dropped um, nearby from the floor. Can hold up to nine types of items. Can be electrified. There's no filter on that, so it just takes whatever. Collector V2 gathers items from the floor specif specified by filters. Can hold up to nine, nine, nine types of items. I don't know what the difference between the Collector V2 is and a Collector. Oh, five meters, ten meters. Okay, so that's the difference there. Um, I don't know what these are. And we have these recyclers. We have the supplier now. Um, and we have the spider, but we need the, we need the other, we need the other workbench as well. So I want to get, um, I kind of want to like, I want to get the vacuum. Let's go ahead and get the vacuum going. Let's do that. Let's kind of see what this is. Cause I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like I said, what these exactly do. I want to get this as well, because I want to see what the other items that we have behind the cauldron are. Uh, cooking pot allows you to cook better food. Okay. So this is going to be cooking related. Probably. I'm not super worried about that. Let's go ahead and get a collector V2. We're going to spend a lot of time today. We're going to look at the things and we're going to see if we can't figure out what's going on here. Cause I feel like there's just a lot of stuff that I'm missing auto feeder. Let's research that. Why not? Because let's just make it happen. Okay. Boom. There's that. Okay. So we've got all these, we have an auto slayer. Uh, we've got cauldron of offerings introduce a creature. It will drop its loot and bones from time to time. So what I'm thinking is that if I make this, I drop a chicken in there somehow that it will just randomly start making bones and stuff like that. Like it'll start producing those possibly, I think, but then what's the point of a slayer? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure on that one, but, um, okay. I want to try to get the, another thing that we need to look at is we need to look at the, um, times zero. We need to look at the, the, the synergies here, because if you see, we have a synergy here. Uh, with this guy. So see synergy, that guy, not sure what that, do. you know, what does that have to do with, will that unlock these? Hold on a second. Okay. So if I, uh, where's our hammer? I want to take this. And if I put, if I put an anvil, hold on a second. Okay. We might, we might maybe onto something here. If I place that there. That gave me another, what the heck is going on here? Why can't I look? I don't even know what that was. What did that do? <laughs> what is the, ooh. What? Wait. What did, did, did that do anything? Rotating prism. I'm not sure what changed here. Why is this green? Well, there's another synergy here. Okay, what is this? Amber pick six attack damage to rock. Amber has a 10% chance. Did we have that before? Or is that a new synergy item? Do we get new items from having different synergies? Is that what I'm understanding? See, that one doesn't have synergy. That one doesn't have a synergy. This one does. That one has a, like a cauldron synergy. Oh. Advanced workbench. There's a camera. Wait a second. What's this? Forging. Hold on a second. What did I just click on? This. Oh, there's a better bed. Quite comfy and allows you to gain extra energy. Sleeping restores maximum energy. Oh, that's actually pretty nice too. Okay. Why does it get so dark? So f I swear they like turn the speed up like three times on the, the day night cycle. Like it is, it is dark every 30 seconds. Okay. It's daytime again. <laughs> oh, we're going to figure this out. Okay. Um, so let me see if I go into the build mode, what do I need for logistics? Okay. So a vacuum collects all items dropped nearby items from the floor can hold up, can be electrified scroll of gathering potion of sorcery. Okay. But what does that do? It sucks them up. It just holds nine of them. Gathers items from the floor specified by the filter. I feel like we need, I feel like we need this. I feel like we need our advanced research table. I feel like there's some, I feel like there's some stuff in here that's going to, that's going to answer some questions. Okay. So another thing we need here is I need a planter, uh, because I'm constantly going out trying to get flowers and you know what? I, 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 ha I think I have an idea of like what's going on here and what I need to happen. <laughs> I think. So let me see a planter plant seeds, fertilize the soil and water nearby crops can hold up to six types of items. Okay. So let me see this. If I put this in here, I put that there. What then happens with this planter? 
How do I how do I plant stuff? Hmm. So this is what I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure here. So like flower? Like how do I That's equip. Open. Deposit all. I have flowers. I want to put the flowers in here. Do I need to equip them and then filters? And I you know, I'm not sure. Okay, so this needs like water and some kind of seeds. Okay, so hold on. If I go into here, because I can put water in there. Where the heck do I get seeds? <laughs> I have no idea. The mill? <gasps> that's no, that's fertilizer. Bone pike. Oh. Increases chance of crops dropping 25. Wait, hold on a second. Wild berry seeds. Glenol. Glenola seeds. Two minutes, four minutes. Mushrooms. What? Okay, so what are these? Flint fibers flower. Craft three of those. Okay. I well, I think... So I'm, I'm trying to figure out stuff right here. I have an idea of what's going on here, and I have an idea of what we need to do. Uh, basically, what I think I'm under... I, I think I'm misremembering all of this, because the game used to be one way. It's not that way anymore, and I need to just forget everything that I used to know until it gets to the point that I did uh, or that I used to know. Anyways, what I'm thinking is that this is a supplier, so it's going to pick up whatever three items I say, right? So if I want this to craft brick, brick needs coal, stone, and sand. So basically what I need to do is I need to put a breaker where there's coal, stone, and sand, or I need to have an area like this area right here where I put the supplier in the middle, put coal, stone, stone and sand, and it'll pull from these maybe, and then have a crafter right next to it to automate brick. But that means that I have to have my crafters and stuff like that, like all around the islands. That's kind of how I'm thinking that this is this is this is supposed to work, but I'm not 100% sure here. Um, and then I'm also not 100% sure how I'm supposed to uh, plant these. I guess let's see. Hold on. Do I have? So I didn't make. Okay, so I have equip. Plant the seed. Only the book and the child are left. Okay, so I planted the seed. And I put water in there. So we could put fertilizer in there. Now, do I have to replant these seeds? Or do they, do they, will they continually? I have no idea. And it's dark again. Oh my god. What is the deal? <laughs> this is so annoying. Listen, it seems like it's so fast. Like, I swear it's every 30 seconds it's dark. And I don't understand why. It's like, okay. And I'm awake. And it's gonna be day. It's gonna be nighttime here, like in like ten seconds. Okay, so what? Did, okay, so what do these do? I'm trying to figure everything out here because if things are just, um, things are are not. <laughs> my problem is I have this mental block because I knew how the game used to play, and it doesn't play that way anymore. So I'm trying to like refigure out things, and they died. What happened? Why did they die? Do you have to have fertilizer? See, it didn't say that you had. To. This says increases chance of crops dropping plus 25% more by 35%. Or maybe that was just a growth stage. Oh, I have no idea. So what I'd want to do for these is I'd want to have those as I, I guess, wait, so with this, I'd want this over here near the water. So we can have it near the plants. That way they can supply this and this could supply these. Is that right? Maybe. Hmm. Okay, so now we can break these and I got flower and fibers, but now in order to do that again, I need to put them into here to make seeds, which is a flower, two fibers and flint. And then I can replant these. Can I put this in here? Oh, I put the seeds in there. It said it's a planter, right? Where did it go? It did. Okay. Okay. So the process of automating flowers would be water auto collector. So, or the, the water supplier, right? The supplier would be the water because it pull from that, put in here. We would need a collector to collect the, f we would well, no, we need a breaker to break the flowers, a collector to collect the flowers or no, the supplier would have to then collect the flowers. 
And then the mill would have to be toggled for the flower seeds. And then the flower seeds could get made, and then the supplier would have to be then toggled for uh, flower seeds that this that could then put back in here, and then this could replant it, and so on. Is that is that that sounds like an extremely convoluted way to automate one thing? Is that is that? And it's just it's dark again. I feel like that's a lot of processes for for one thing of flowers, and that doesn't even count the flint because I also have to have flint. In order to get flint, I need stone. I need these. So on top of all of that, I would also have to have flint being spawned in order to automate flowers. Is that is that right? That seems like a lot. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try it. I am going to try to figure this out and we're gonna try to set up something here because I just, I am not, just not getting a real good hold on this yet. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I wanna go ahead and actually break this down, break that down. I wanna go ahead and move this. I want to move that, move that. We'll grab these. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna automate flowers. Let's say I wanna automate flowers, okay? So what I would need to do in order to automate flowers, I'd one have to have a flower bed, which I feel like putting in this area would probably be the best idea because, well, actually, I don't know that the, I don't, I just don't know the, the 360. I don't know the range on the everything. Okay. So we'll just say we're going to have it down here. Okay. So if I go to farming harvest and I go into this, let's say I want it like that. Okay. So place that there, place that there. Okay. So I want two of those deals now. I want these to do flowers. So in order to do flowers, I would need to go to harvest. I'd need to have a planter nearby. So let's go ahead and let's make sure we'll put a planter right here. Okay. There's our planter. Now with the planter, I would need a couple things. I would need a, if we go to this, we go to logistics. I would need a supplier. Okay. And then in the supplier, I would need water flowers and seeds those are what i need for this in order to put into here in order to make flowers continuously now the water should be gathered from these which i have no idea if it's actually going to do that or not what does the supplier do the supplier it gathers items from other collectors vacuums and chests so that means that this cannot pull its own thing out of there. <laughs> so this this does absolutely nothing. I can't automate these because I can't get them to open up. They don't drop the resource, so that's not gonna happen. Okay, and then another thing that I would need is I would need a, if we go into here, if we go into utilities, let's go into production. Actually, no, let's go into general. I'm going to need a miner. I'm gonna need one of these, but I'm also going to need it gathers items from the floor, specify the filters, collects all items dropped near items from the floor, collects items from the floor. I don't understand the wording here. Collects all items dropped nearby items from the floor, collects, gathers items from the floor, specified by filters, gathers items from the floor, specified by filters. Why doesn't this one say gathers items by the floor? Because it says collects all items dropped nearby items from the floor. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand what that's saying. Uh, it gathers items from other collectors, vacuums, and chests specified by filters. Can hold up to three types of items. So, but there's so there's no way. There's no way to auto pull water. Hmm. And then that's not even the end of it either, because I would need. So if I go into Let's say we go into uh, machinery and deforestation. I would need this, uh, but what I would need is, I would guess I would need a crab or a collector V2. Guys, I'm just by if I feel like I can hold nine. Okay, so if I put this here and then I go into, uh, let's see this, deforestation and I put a miner on top of that. And then I select that I want this to only, I want this to get flowers Flint, oh, fi fiber. Yeah, I need fiber too. Shoot, I forgot we need fiber because we need the mill. 
And then I guess it can collect what whatever else it needs. I don't think it can collect this. So can this this can't collect water though, because those don't drop water. So that does that. That does that. What do you have? Okay, so you need water. You need flower seeds, and that, that I mean that's basically it. Okay, so that's what those need. <laughs> this is inch. This is what I'm saying. This seems like a lot of work for that I'm just not even sure is is worth it and then what I need is also we need the mill so let me go ahead and pull this mill out of here trying to just figure out how to get one thing going here so production farming gather harvest mill put that in there and then basically what I want from this is I want this to make these seeds infinitely and for these seeds we need flint fibers and flowers so this actually needs to be not water this actually needs to be this actually needs to be fibers so that needs to be fibers flour no that needs to be fiber flowers and flint because this isn't gonna pull fiber flour and then flint and then we're gonna need so we would need oh my gosh okay so I pull those out I would need then flint to go in there. And then that's gonna start crafting that. But then that's gonna come out. So I need another so I need another supplier. This is wild. This is wild. So I need another supplier. So I need uh I need magic branches here. And this isn't even gonna fully automate it because I can't do I can't get water. So then I would need machinery and logistics supplier that open i want this to do flowers and then this vacuum right here is going to have to do uh we're gonna have to have flowers in here so that way it can pull from here and then i guess if i can do water on this one it might fill that one so then that should be flowers and then flowers should go into there and then the flower should they should go into there i have absolutely no idea but that I think should work because then that breaker should pop those flowers. Those flowers should then go into the collector and then it should basically repeat over and over and over because if the flowers go into here, then the flowers go into here, then the flowers go into here. And then the fibers from this area go into there. The fibers of the other, the other area go from there. And we should also have rocks spawning in here as well. Those two. Okay. I still don't know how to do these though. That's just the only thing is I just can't figure out how to get water so let's see yeah that has flower seeds in it and it has see it has water but it only has water because i dropped it off in there um so i would have to manually go in there and add water every single time okay but i mean it is working it is popping the flowers off and it is making new flowers but it is immediately turning them into seeds to then get turned into um more flowers which is more seeds more flowers more seeds more so so hmm i'm not actually sure what the benefit of that is because i'm literally using my resource to make a resource because what i wanted flowers for was paper but i would need to then put um i guess i could put paper over there as well but then the problem becomes what happens if we use up all of the what happens if we use up all of the paper or use up all of the flowers making paper and then we have no seeds left or will it always be crafting seed? You know what? Let's let's see if we can get paper over there. Because paper in this area. So we've got... I just want paper, right? So paper is wood and flour. So let's go get an inscription table. See if I can actually build one here. Um, inscription table. I'm going to put it right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Uh, we're going to set this up to do paper infinitely. Now, now that that's going to do paper infinitely, we can go ahead and swap this around. So... Um, we can go ahead and set this one up to, I don't want seaweed, I want logs. And then from the logs, we should be able to go into here, and I should be able to get rid of the seaweed, and we should be able to put a log in there. So then that that's a log, that's a log, and then I have no idea. Paper? Where's the paper going to go? The paper needs to, I guess the paper needs to go into here. So then we could go ahead and get rid of, let's get rid of the stone and put in Paper? Why can't I put paper in there? There. Okay. 
So this collector will collect paper and then this will make paper once it has logs. Oh, it needs logs and flowers. But this one's collecting flowers. Oh, you know what though? This will never have enough flowers because this requires four flowers and this only requires one flower. So this will never have enough in order to make in order to make paper because it's always going to get turned into a seed first unless there's a, a limit on how many okay this is i'm mm hmm hmm okay i'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone for now i have i, I don't know um this whole it, this seems like a lot just to automate flowers and maybe paper unless maybe i ha maybe i just picked the wrong thing to try to automate because if we did ironing guess you just need coal and, and, and iron um, if you need gold ingots, you would just have to have gold and, or coal and gold. Um, so maybe I just picked the wrong things to try to automate, but I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go ahead. Let's head to the other island. Um, I want to just basically keep getting more islands, um, done up and we need more pay. Well, we actually, we need more paper because we need to get the advanced workbench open. I think there's some stuff in there that's going to be, um, extremely helpful for us. So let's see if I want to get, okay, hold on. No, it's not magic. It's production. It's, um, so paper, I use, I've used paper. <laughs> I've used paper. All right, that's fine. Let's run over, um, let's run over here to the, um, the, uh, these, these beach areas. I need to build a bridge also. I'm aware. Okay, let's see. Let's expand the biome for 65,000. Let's see what we get here now. Um... Hey, we got some more books. Hopefully they're good. I'm a little, I'm just, I don't understand what's going on here. Specific enables crafting custom quantities. Hmm. Does that mean maintain quantity or only craft so many? Upgrade is still, oh my gosh. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, you can have one additional passive. Okay, that's huge, but not huge for me right now, unfortunately. I'm also not sure how I'm getting so many points so fast because I spent like all of my points and then we built that stuff and I had like a hundred thousand points again. So something somewhere is generating points and I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, to be completely honest, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. You can have one additional passive island and enables crafting custom quantities in crafting benches huh i kind of want to check that out let's see if we can go spend some points and get an upgrade here and then um yeah we'll go see if we can get an upgrade here and then how much do we need for our last upgrade here Eighty-one thousand. i think this is the last upgrade for this island pretty sure Okay, let's try to upgrade something here. Uh, wall produces objects health by 24%. Raises critical chance by 15%. Actually, what's like the cheapest one? Raises click damage to resources by 45%. 30% chance of resources dropping 40% credits. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, raises critical damage by 36%. Fish spawn 40% more. You know what? That's a cheap one. Let's just get that. And then let's go check those books. Uh, let's go. Let's go get those other two books. And I want to see. I want to see what the specific one is. I want to see specifically what the specific book does. Okay, so specific book, uh, skill unlock specific, and then skill unlock one additional core. The additional core, awesome, amazing. I'm definitely excited for that. Uh, no doubt in my mind whatsoever. However, what is specific? Because if it's if if we could say like, you know only have so much total would be nice but like that would also get back to the whole global thing to where okay so like i have this set to infinite right what i don't understand craft one what but if i craft 85 see i'm not sure what's the difference between this and this if i do infinite it'll make me an infinite amount if i do this I guess it just allows me to put a number in instead of hitting the, the plus or minus. Mmm. Woohoo. Uh. <laughs> I, 
I'm sorry. I don't understand. I don't get the point in that. I'm, I'm, I'm a little lost with that one. Oh, it's dark. Okay, so what I want to see here is... Maybe I don't want this set to infinite. Should we just stop this? Let's just stop this. Let's stop that and let's let the paper try to do its thing. How many seeds are actually in here? Is there a way to see? 79. Okay. We probably don't need 79 seeds in there. Um, well, I mean, each, if each one is a seed and a, a seed, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Okay. So we'll leave that alone. We're not going to craft any more of that. So it should automatically, it's not, it's not, it's not breaking. Why? Oh, it's because it ran out of energy. It ran out of juice. I forgot. I need to, so in order, okay, so this isn't even done yet. Hold on a second. That means that I need to make the electrical dealio. The electrifier. Um, and that runs on coal, which means that I would then have to set up a tree farm to then supply coal to this. Oh my God. Is this seriously what, what this requires? Gold ink. I need another gold ink. Okay. I want to set this up because I don't, I just, I want to under, I'm trying to understand here. What the heck is going on? Uh, max three gold ingots. Okay. I'm never going to get Durasteel ever in my life because I'm going to be too busy using it for everything else. Um, I'm really hoping paper starts crafting. I got 11 paper actually. Wow. Okay. So if I want the electrifier, <laughs> where is the electrifier thing at? Okay. Here's the electrifier. So this is what we're going to do. So this is going to electrify everything in this radius. So basically I put this there. That is going to then add electrification to that. Add coal, remove coal, copy the build. Okay, so then if I want to go into, so we're supplying seeds, wood, water. We can't do water, but I have it. I have it doing water anyways. Um, see these can't okay you know what so i guess no it need no it, needs, it doesn't need to supply seeds okay so if i have this doing uh coal okay so we already have this that's fine but i i need another collector so i would need a collector i should put that on i should put the collector on there uh i'm aware of that but we'll put this right here um and then basically in here i need it to have uh wood i need it to collect wood and coal because I need this to supply coal, but it can't, it can't just pull it on its own. It has to have this. And then in order to make coal, you see where I'm going? I need a furnace. So then the furnace needs to go right here. And then this is going to have to be at coal at infinite. And now, <laughs> luckily I already have one supplying wood. <laughs> Even though we're not doing the mill anymore. Because we don't have that going right now. This thing can then supply wood to this which will then make coal infinitely. You know what? This should actually be probably a vacuum. Actually, you know what? Can we set this up to be wood? Oh, it is, it is already doing wood. Okay, so I actually probably don't even need this secondary one here. <laughs> I feel like that's excessive. This is my flower farm. A flower farm. One flower. It, is, is it even done? I mean, this is staying topped off. This has nine coal in it. This is supposed to be crafty coal, but we don't have no trees over here. So I don't know what's going on. There are any trees gonna spawn in over here? I have no idea. There's a tree. Get him, get the tree. Okay, then that goes in there, that goes in there. Is that making coal now? No. No, it's not making coal. Why is it not making coal? Because it's making paper. Is it because it's making paper? It's because it's making paper, so I can't even, I can't even do, I can't even do it. I can't even make coal because the paper is make is stealing the wood. So I'd have to stop the automation of, of paper, which is not even making paper currently. Oh my gosh. You know what? I don't, I don't even know at this point. This is wild. This is what it takes now to do automation. Oh man. So I'm going to tell you, uh, <laughs> I love this game. I really do. And I need to get a lot further in it. I'm not going to complain by any means. I'm not because I, I don't think I'm far enough, far enough into this. 
Uh, but I need to get a lot more further into this. I need to get more things unlocked. And because I, th I think there's things that I'm missing or there's there's things that I'm not putting together that I need to. Um, I also know about the, the synergies. I know about these synergies. I need to go through and put those together and kind of see what happens with those. Um, but these these buildings don't have synergies from, from what I know. I don't think these, any of these have synergies. But um, the... <laughs> This is so it's, it's so confusing now because um, I like I said I played the game previously it had a global it had a global storage system um, and then eventually like things auto collect themselves it was very much forager like uh, so you could get things up and running very similar to, very similar to like how forager was you just had a storage and it would automatically pull from storage you know and so on and so forth um, so now trying to figure out how to get these complex systems up and running which again I might completely be missing this like this was my attempt at a flower farm and i just feel like i missed the mark completely yeah i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure not 100 percent sure okay and then the last thing i want to look at i do want to look at one more thing here i want to look at these synergies again because i don't think we got this i think this amber pickaxe came because of this synergy right here so let's see what other synergies we have i don't know what that thing is um i do know what that is because we did just unlock that it's this thing the cooking pot so there's some synergy with that uh, there is no synergy there there's a synergy here with this thing which we have and then this synergy is with this and with this and then with this so this rotating prism changes the rotation of an island block not even understood I have no idea what that is does that mean like one of these whole island blocks like it'll change the like I could I could put this on here and it would rotate the whole block to like line up. Is that what I'm understanding? There is no way. There is no way that's what that is. Um, I need literally a magic branch. Hold on a second. I don't I don't even believe that. Is that seriously what it is? Okay, what does this thing actually require here? Water capsule, stone, drool, magic. Okay, I'm crafting one. I don't understand this rotating prism so would that be like what is what is that even under magic tools equip change position change the block rotation are you kidding me right now what what in the absolute heck <laughs> just what? Why? Why? What? I'm... Uh, what? I'm so confused. Why would I... Why do I want to do that? I don't know why I want to do that. Why do I want to do that? Rotating prism change? I guess... Like... Wow. Oh, what in the heck? So I guess if I change this, it would fit into this area. I am so confused. Um, I'm going to make another one. I want to see that. I kind of want to see this again. I can understand why they're cheap uh, because there's a lot of island blocks here. I'm just a little confused as to what is the purpose of this? Hold on. Let's go ahead and sleep. <laughs> Okay, so if I change this one, this one's going to fit in here perfectly, right? Okay. Um, but, like, what if I change this... This one? Oh. And then I could change this one. And then this one. Basically, we could get them all lined up facing the same direction. I mean... Yeah, that is cool. That is neat. I I mean, that is, that is a, a cool thing. It would... Oh, yeah. Because you could flip this and flip it around and it'd be perfect. Hmm. That is a very interesting tool. Not one that I thought I needed. <laughs> I like it though. I definitely like it. Okay, well. I I guess there's that then. There's absolutely that. Alright, so let's see here. Um, I wanted to try to make that workbench. Okay, so paper. I have 34. 35 36 okay so that's 36 paper what else do i need in order so 36 paper i need one more wooden bone and three more bricks so let's get bricks can i 
please craft three. Yes, please. Thank you. We'll go ahead and speed these up. Okay, so there's that. So now I need one more. Oh my gosh, I need a black bone. Okay, so we need one black bone and then we can get our new uh, our new workbench and then see what secrets it holds. See this island, this area right here could use a lot of uh, rotating deals. Huh. I need a... Hmm. Really need a, uh, a slime here. Okay, can I make one more bone? Oh, fantastic. Okay. I was a little worried because I, uh, I fought one slime and I didn't get a bone from it. So I must have got it from something else. Okay, so do I have everything now that I need for this advanced crafting table? Okay, so let's just put this uh, right here. And let's see what we've got here. More content. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I can't e I literally can't even do anything in here <laughs> like that's there's nothing here for me um it starts with this thing that I don't have oh I have no idea oh you know what let's go open up this last island piece while we're doing this all right 81,000 let's go that is the final piece of this island and we got a book two books on it oh tell me there's something tell me there's something game changing here Hate raises critical click damage to creatures by 30%. Not the most game changing thing. Once you enter an island, all items on the floor will be picked up. Oh my god. Wow. That, okay. That's actually really big because things on, once you enter an island, all items on the floor will be picked up. The reason that that's big is because I don't think the things on the ground despawn. So if you had, if you had breakers everywhere and no collectors, then everything was just sitting on the ground. Oh my, that might actually be huge. Like forget the need for collectors, um, unless you're doing automation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello, worm of the sands. Um, oh, I could have got bones from you. Well, I feel like a dummy now. Oh, oh. That one might change everything a little bit. Um, because then basically we can just cover all of the islands in breakers and then just pop on the island, boop, pick up everything and then boop on out. And then we'll have everything we need. We can go and craft and do whatever. Oh my gosh, that's actually, okay. All right. You know what? That's a big deal. And I like it. I like it. Um, but that's going to be the next episode because this one's, over. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.